Hello there, everybody. I wanted to show you this really cool product that I have been using lately to do um, tracing and applique projects. It's called a cutter pillar. And today I have the Ultra, which is the super big one. And I also have my glass tempered mat ready so that I can do my pressing right on top of my light surface. And what's kind of cool about this one with the Ultra, the tempered mat is not as big as the Ultra, but I can do my pressing here. And if I have to do any other cutting, I can do it off to the side over here and my surface is still lit up. And let me show you what I mean by lit up. This underneath is actually a light board and it has three different levels of light. I always use it on the brightest one because you can see my eyes aren't that great, but this is perfect if you're in a dim room or you're traveling and you just need um, a little bit more light or um, you're working on a project where you need to see through several layers. Now the ultra that I'm showing you today, the lit area is 17 inches by 24, but the cutting mat actually covers the entire surface. So your full surface is 19 by 26. So a pretty good size, I think. What I'm gonna be working on today is an applique um, wall hanging just in time for Christmas, of course. So what I'm going to do first is lay out my paper pattern. Now, all my pieces are numbered on the pattern. So I've already gone through and numbered all my little bits of applique. I just laid them on the paper to make sure that they were the appropriate piece. And then I'm just going to lay the paper out on top of the light board. And I'm going to put my background fabric over top of my paper. And I've cut my fabric a bit oversized to uh, allow myself to trim it up later. I think we should always start big and trim down if we need to. So these are all numbered. So I'm just going to put them together in that order. I'm going to start with my number one piece, which is this uh, swirly guy right in here. And look how well I can see that through my fabric. It really, really lights up the area that I need quite well. And I love that I have the tempered mat and I can do my pressing right over the lit surface. So we're just gonna remove that paper backing on there and place it right over its little outline on the pattern. Oh, I got it rotated slightly, that's why it's not lining up. So once I spin it into place properly, I can kind of press it into place. It's um, the fusible web that they use on the back there kind of holds in place even before pressing. So that's nice. I could move it around if I needed to, but I don't need to because I've got my tempered glass mat and I'm just gonna press right on the glass. I don't wanna hold it for too long, just enough to let that fuse. Good, it's holding well. Now I need to look for number two, and that's very easy to see with my lit up cutting surface. And I'm just gonna peel the paper off the back again. But can you see how this would make your applique projects a breeze? My kids constantly have this uh, cutter pillar pulled out tracing coloring sheets. Sometimes they only get one copy, and of course there's 10 million children in my house, so one of the older kids will trace the image for the smaller kids and then they can all participate in the coloring, which is a good thing. It's good to keep everybody happy, not just one or two. And I also really like to bring my cutter pillar when I go camping. It is, um, sometimes you just need to bring your sewing with you. If you're a, a, a quilting addict like I am, I need a little bit more light when I am at the campsite. So I love to bring my cutter pillar with me. It helps me cut out my fabric. It's not just good for doing this type of thing. You can actually cut your fabric right on the cutting mat. So that is pretty cool too. What's that? It's the width of the bolt, Landon says. That is a great reminder. It is as wide as the bolt. So now I can cut my fabric on the ultra without having to fold it too many times. So I'm going to keep chipping away at this little project. I'm determined to have it on the wall in time for Christmas. I've only got a couple of days left, but 
I'm sure you can see how beneficial the Caterpillar would be for any of your uh, applique or tracing type of projects. It is available in a smaller size as well, and one of the smaller ones also comes in a cordless version. This large one has to be plugged in, but that cordless version is called the Premium, and it has got four hours of battery life. So make sure you check out all the Caterpillar project, or products on our website at sparrowquillco.com, and make sure you don't miss the tote bags that will allow you to safely transport your Caterpillar wherever you happen to be going on your quilting adventures. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time.